Welcome back to Khao Sok National Park, an enormous but hidden gem tucked away in the south of Thailand. I like it though, it's like an adventure. In our last video we checked out two of the top things to do in the area, cruising on a random bamboo raft through the rainforest and making friends with elephants. Jesus! Today we booked the number one thing to do, a tour into the jungle out on Chowlan Lake and it was not what we expected. Rastafarian coconut. Ice cream oh, dealers. He's so cool. I love that guy. <laughs> in classic Thai fashion, it was organized chaos and lacking communication. Laugh it off and go with it. Broken boats and tourist traps. I think we're good now. We don't. We honestly don't know. But despite all that, somehow it was still an amazing day. This is what travel days are all about. <laughs> Who would have thought that in the rainiest place in Thailand? It could rain. It's raining. It's a 30% chance. Pretty sure we're at 100. <laughs> <laughs> so you're good at maths, eh? Mm. <laughs> Feels like it could be raining. <laughs> I think today's going to be a real adventure, though, so we're pleased you've come to hang out with us and see what this lake situation is all about. We booked our tour just literally through where we're staying. We, want only, we didn't want to do a full day because some of them are enormous, like 8 to 7 p.m. Yeah. It's too much. So we're just doing a four hour tour, private, but we still get to go to all the same places. We just don't get to hang out for quite as long, which... Or hike as long, which is fine by us. Might be a good thing. Yeah, looking at this. <laughs> so we're paying 3,500 total private instead of 1,500 each. these people come from. Thing we're, to do isn't it? We're so isolated it's weird to see so many people around. Yeah. <laughs> so all these people are here kind of just lingering one because of the the cover obviously because of the rain but this is where you pay the fees to get in so you have to go do a check-in process figure out depending on where you're from how much you pay. So as Kiwis it was 200 baht each I'm not 100% sure how that works if it is based on your nationality or not but we did read something along those lines. So we tried to go through after buying the first ticket and then we got rejected and told to come back because then there's another one which is a peer service fee as well which is another 20 baht per person. So it's uh, organized chaos. Still no idea what's happening. <laughs> yeah, we honestly... Just following this lady. Yeah. Oh, this guy here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you can see there how full some of the other, you know, when you do the group trips are. Uh, with, uh, you know, they're probably a bit more organized because we're on to our third contact already. Hopefully we get on the right boat and we end up in the right place and we do the tour that we think we paid for. But I mean, look, this is Thailand. This is Southeast Asia. Yeah. It's just how it works, isn't it? Exactly. Um, just got to go with the flow, I think. Yeah, we always say if you're going to come to one of these countries and we see the same thing, people commenting on Indonesia or Bali content sometimes are saying like, it's too difficult or it doesn't make it's sense really or not. it's not like, you know, set up well enough. It is, but you just have to be flexible. You just, just laugh it off and go with it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, this is the front. Okay, cool, yeah. yeah. Just while we're stopped here and our uh, skipper has got out a toolkit and we're floating in the middle of the lake. Do you think this is man-made or do you not think it's man-made? It's pretty big. Are we supposed to give the answer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is man-made. In fact, it is 165 kilometers squared. It is huge. 
and in the 80s um, it was created as a damming project so basically this whole area was flooded and I think something like five towns had to be evacuated so on the bottom of the lake there is literally old houses and temples and schools it's and crazy I wonder if they do stuff. diving here because that would be insane yeah. to see what was it for was it for electricity yeah so the damming project was created for hydroelectricity for southern Thailand so you can see here everyone else is cruising past I'm not sure what's going on back here actually um, yeah our boat's broke we broke down guys um, well anyway I hope you've enjoyed the lake tour <laughs> <laughs> Might be as far as we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we got some swells too. I think we're good now. We don't. We honestly don't know. He let us take some photos real quick, so um, he's trying to play it casual. We trust he him. Seems fine, he seems yeah. fine. We're on the move again. We're just going deeper and deeper into bigger and more impressive cliff faces. So this is all limestone and then this is all like rainforest back here too. Apparently the highest cliff is almost a kilometre high. 980 something metres I think it is. There's even a solar panel there. I don't know uh, quite what that's about. I think that parts of this rainforest are older than the Amazon. Okay. Crazy. And if you don't know, you can actually come and stay out here. So you can do like a multi-day trip and you stay on these quite cool floating what would you call them? Floating, um, like floating hotels, floating bungalow, floating rooms, whatever you want to say. Uh, they were all booked out because we did all this far too late, but I'd say it, it could be something to look into, eh? Quick stop for a photo op and another failing engine situation. We were just saying though, it's really nice because like, I don't think there's a, a set route. Like, he, he's just cruising in through all of these little bays, all these little coves, and we were saying, it's so nice, you don't really see anybody else, it's so chill, but, but these guys popping straight out. I think they're called Goi Lin, is one of the most kind of popular things on the lake here. So once you come into a cove like this, obviously this is where all the people are, and then we go and cruise out alone by itself. It's really nice, assuming the boat keeps working, but <laughs> stay tuned. This dude's selling ice cream. <laughs> Normally it would be beer or something, I thought it might be coffee, but no, that's ice cream. <laughs> that's a rasta ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ice cream. Huh? What flavor? Coconut? Coconut, yeah. Coconut, always coconut, huh? Coconut ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go, Boo. Wow! We have no idea how much this is costing, but this give it a try. Good. That is so good. <laughs> yes! Whoa. Really good. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, for you, for you. Yeah, we'll buy it for you, we'll buy it for you. We thought we'd just get, get one for our uh, skipper as well. As long as he can drive at the same time. Three, three, please. Mmm, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> mm. Thanks, brother. Uh, hey. He just pointed in this direction. No explanation. I'm not sure if this is lunch. There was, there was talk of a cave. Don't know if this is the cave. I like it though. It's like an adventure. It is fully an adventure. I've got to say, I was just sitting there for a while and just like, just looking out, just in silence. And we're just like, man, this is what travel days are all about. Just exploring. Rolling thunder in the background, <laughs> Rastafarian coconut ice cream oh, dealers. He's so cool. Love that guy. <laughs> We're lucky that wasn't laced with THC or something because around here you just don't know. <laughs> There's a big elephant sign up there. Oh damn! Oh, okay. This might be a cave. It's a wildlife sanctuary. Oh, that's the cave. Oh, okay. So we go into the cave and then come back out. Okay. Another 200 baht. Is it? Where you seen that? I think the sign here. Uh, entrance fee, 200 baht. I don't know what's happening here. There's bamboo rafts, maybe this is lunch. It's all a guessing game. It is. Not it? a very helpful vlog, but at least you'll see by the end of it, like what this day's all about. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't go into a cave at all, we just went on a walk. Uh, now we've yeah, just kind of shown up here. 
So because we're doing that half day thing, I don't think we get lunch included, which I think is a bonus of doing one of the other tours. Um, but yeah, I think we just go with the flow again. <laughs> Uh, we're told to jump on this one. <laughs> Two boat combo. We again, no idea. Yeah, I don't know. We just sit down and see what happens. Our guide's not coming. We have made it to the cave, we think, from what we can tell. We've got some, uh, some pretty, uh, let's say, custom steps to walk up. <laughs> wow. That's cool, man. Look at these formations. Reminds me a lot of, Stace, Waitomo Caves, New Zealand. If you, <laughs> you're telling a scary story. If you haven't seen those Waitomo videos, I'll link it here. We go into this incredible cave with like glow worms and stuff. That looks a lot like coral. Why does it look like coral? I don't know. Somebody who's a bit wiser than us, we obviously don't have any translation here about what's going on. Has this been underwater? Is that why that's kind of taken on that formation? At some stage? Because the rest of it up here, that doesn't look like it. No. That looks fairly normal, like limestone. Yeah, like what we've seen. Curtains or whatever they're called. Oh yeah, good memory. But some of it is questionable. We've just pulled into our lunch ah. stop. I think this is the raft house. I'm not seeing any English um, signs anywhere. But we've got an hour here. We can do lunch, we can go swimming, we can go kayaking, whatever we really feel like doing. So it's kind of flexy by the sounds of it, eh? Yeah, I think we'll start with some lunch and then see how much time we got left over. Start with the lunch, have a beer. Have a beer. Have another beer. <laughs> see if we can still swim. <laughs> I don't think I want to swim, to be honest. No. The water doesn't look the Overly nicest, appealing. but this is just so random in the best way possible. Look at this. How oh, cool. It's good. Yep. There's beer in there, there's no menu. Um, this is where it kind of gets a little bit tricky in a day like today. We were told one person 150, two people 500. So that's that's the extent of what we've been told. I think it must be a set menu or something with like a whole ass fish. Stacey yeah. isn't really into that. So we've come into this like token mini mart and we're just going to buy some chips, get a couple beers and uh, hang up for a yeah, bit I think. That's really good. I think. <laughs> it's fine. I can't jump that. I got no hops. Zero hops. <laughs> For being honest, that was felt like a real tourist trap. Uh, we thought we were going to feel real guilty about like not being able to find availability in one of these places, but the prices are high once you get here. They get you trapped here. You can only buy their food. You can only buy their prices at the mart. And um, we try and keep things positive, as you would have seen throughout today, but all of the interactions that we had there were like, uh, what's the word, babe? They so just yelled shit. Like, pretty negative. Quite, like, actually very rude. Whatever. The beers were cold, the chips were seaweed. Um, <laughs> or prawn. Yeah, no, nah, it's all good. It is what it is. But just uh, if you're watching this for research, maybe keep that in I mind. I wish we knew the name, but we can't really help you. We've got no service. Yeah, we can't bag on anyone. That's the other thing. There's no phone reception. They look like they might have had Wi-Fi. But all these people just look quite bored, if I'm yeah. honest. Because literally, this is it. This is what you can do. You sit here all day long, kayak. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm kind of pleased that we did. So interesting to throw out, and I'm talking fast because I've had a, had a few beers, so you're, you're rolling on this journey with me, is that we paid for what we said earlier was the four hour trip. We're already past the four hours, so because there's so much to kind of, as part of the day, there's a lot more that goes into it. I'm stoked with our balance of coming in, seeing it, seeing it for what it is, We'll go back to our pool and, yeah. and have a beer at the pool with the and sunset. Last In the last video we mentioned that we weren't so sure about where we were staying and like, oh, maybe it would be really sad that we weren't at like a rafty hotel or floating hotel, but you know what? I think we made the right choice. We nailed it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed hanging out with us. We have got a travel day tomorrow, so we probably won't vlog that, but we're going over to Koh Samui, which is going to be super cool. So we'll catch you in the next episode. But I hope you've had fun hanging out with us anyway. If you've got any other feedback actually, 
that might help other people. If you've been in here, if you know somewhere good, if you know a better option than what we've talked about, it, please leave it below because people find these videos like months, years afterwards and, and anything you leave could be really helpful. Catch up. Bye.